Hello friends, this video on number systems part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's again rationalize the denominator. The denominator here is not rationalized. This is root 3 minus root 5. So we will try uh, multiplying and dividing by root 3 plus root 5. Why? Because we know that it is root a plus root b multiply with root a minus root b. There is a high probability that you get a rational number. Right, so we'll do that. So this becomes uh, this becomes five into root three plus root five divided by this will become root three square minus root five square. Root three square minus root five square. This becomes the denominator become five root three plus five root five. This becomes root three square is three. Root five square is five, and this is minus two. So I'll get minus of Again, the thing is common actually by right. 2. If you see here, this is a rational number. We will take one more, we will rationalize this. This is also a plus b form. So we will multiply with this a minus b form. So you have to do the same thing for denominator also. So let us see what you get. You get 7 minus 2, 3, 2, 2 on the same value. And this becomes this becomes a square minus b square. This is a so a square minus b square. b is 3 root 2 square. You solve this. This becomes 7 minus 3 root 2. This becomes 7 square is 49. And this becomes 3 square is 9. 9 into root 2 into root 2 is 2. 9 into 2 is 18. You solve this 7 minus 3 root 2 and this becomes 31. And if you see here 31 is a rational number. So the denominator is rationalized. Okay. You to classify this as rational rational number. So if you see here, root 5 is irrational, this is rational. You're doing any operation on rational and irrational, right? This is always irrational. This is irrational. If you see here root 3, 23, 23 cancel, what do you get is 3, and 3 is a rational number. Rational number is q. Root 7, root 7 we cancel, so what you get is 2 by 7. 2 by 7 is a rational number. That is q. 1 by root 2. If you see, there is an operation on rational and irrational. You will always get irrational number. This is a pi and this is 2. You are multiplying irrational number with a rational number. In this case, 2 into this, you will get irrational number. Okay? Irrational, irrational, rational, rational, irrational. So let's take some more question here to simplify each of these. Let's see how well we can do. Let's do this. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into root 2 is 3 root 2. Root 3 into 2 is 2 root 3. And root 3 into root 2 is root 6. So this is the simplified version. Let's take this. a plus b, a minus b. This becomes a square minus b square. a is 3. 3 square minus b square that is root 3 b square that is 3 into 3 square is 9 root 3 square is 3 you solve it you get 6 okay let's try this root 5 plus root 2 square that is a this becomes a square that is root 5 square plus b square that is root 2 square plus 2ab that is 2 root 5 root 2 solve this this becomes 5 root 5 square is 5 root 2 square is 2 and this becomes 2 root 10 that is 7 plus 2 root 10. Let's try this. a plus b a minus b. That is a square minus b square. So a is what? Root 5. So root 5 square minus b is what? Root 2 square. Root 5 minus square is 5. Root 2 square is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. And that is the answer. Okay. Let's take an uh, example. Pi is defined as the ratio of circumference of a circle to its diameter. That is pi. This seems to contradict with the fact that pi is a rational number. How can you resolve this contradiction? See what this is, is trying to say is pi is what? Pi is ratio of circumference 
by diameter right so pi is nothing but circumference by diameter circumference is length length is always a rational number right you can't have your rational number as a length diameter is also a rational number right if you take a circle rational number by rational number it should be a rational number we have seen that but we say pi is a rational number what is the contradiction see there is no contradiction actually see the length measurement which we take from the ruler the scales the rulers this length measurement is the approx rational number right length is because see root 2 is a rational number even that can be a length right we have seen that we can represent on number line so if we can represent on number line why can't we take it as a length so this length are approx representation of rational number okay and we never get a rational number value exact on scale so we have seen that on scale we actually try to find approximate value for example root 2 also when you represent on number line we try to get the approx value it's all because of the approximation so length of the uh, semi sphere actually we take is typically a irrational number but because of the constraint in the ruler you can't actually take the exact measurement of a irrational number so we take approx value and the approx value becomes rational number here also if you see pi we say is 3.14 but actually it is not because this is approx this is approx value okay So you to represent root nine point three on the number line. Let's draw a line for nine point three unit. Then draw a line for one unit. They can hold this thing as a diameter. Draw a center, and from this center, draw a semicircle, and then from this point which we have, draw a line perpendicular, and this line will hit this semicircle. And this point I'll call it AB. This point AB is root nine point. And we have proved also why it is root nine point three. Okay. Because if you take this circle, this is this length is nine point three plus one by two, and this length is O A is nine point three minus one by two, and by Pythagoras theorem, this is root nine point three. Let's take few more questions. You need to rationalize these followings. Rationalize the denominator. This is root seven, irrational number. We rationalize. So what we'll do is multiply by root seven and root seven. What you get is root seven here, and you get seven here, and seven is a rational number. So we are done with the rationalization of this particular expression. Rationalization of the denominator of the following expression. Let's take this. This is one minus root seven minus root six. We have rationalized this denominator. What we can do is we can Multiply and divide with this root seven plus root six a plus b a minus b. There is a chance it will get rationalized. Let's see that root seven plus root six root seven minus root six a square minus b square a plus b into a minus b a is root seven b is root six. This is a square minus b square a square minus root six b square, and this will be as it is. So root seven square is seven root six square is six. So what you get is root seven plus Root six by one, and one is a rational number. Same thing you can do here. You can multiply and divide by root five minus root two, and here also you can multiply and divide by root seven plus. Two. Okay, so the answer for this you will get is root five minus root two by three. Here you get is root seven plus two by seven minus four. That is. Yeah, this is five minus two and three. This answer we get. You can try that. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.